Hello folks and welcome back to our little tutorial series on Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode we had some fun and excitement as we were taken over and uh, we had pretty much lost the Kingdom of Denmark. Now the previous liege that was over us has perished, died, and right now there's just this little kid who's ruling. Now, there is a chance that we could perhaps try and, like, go to war to claim the Kingdom of Denmark, but he has some vassals that he might be able to bring against us, so it's hard to necessarily say if we'd do well. I think we'd end up losing more than we'd potentially gain in that war, so we're gonna maybe have to be a little cautious here. Now, certainly we should be plotting to take out this guy. Possible plot power 118%? I think that would be pretty good. So, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna plan that. And we have some people that we can invite into this plot. So we'll invite Asta, we'll invite Ruffin. And looks like that's about all we can bring in right now. Trigviv. He would offer quite a bit to this plot, but, uh, yeah, he, he's not looking to do that right now. All right, we're at 118% plot power. So when you do a plot, when you're planning to, well, most plots are generally killing someone. Uh, when you're planning a plot, you want to have at least that over 100% plot power. Once it's over 100%, pretty much actions are going to start cooking up, and with any luck, our liege is going to die. And once he dies, hopefully that'll further split the kingdom. And with any luck, when that happens, we'll be able to take over from the ashes. Now, right now, we are involved in this big war. Uh, let's see, the West Francian claim on Saxony. There's also this Brenna. Bergen Saxon subjugation war. So pretty much I think both of those came from our actions to turn Saxony into a tributary. So we're kind of hurting a little bit from that. Now let's see. I'm wondering would the chieftain no the chieftain of Finn even though it's mine, it's not going to actually fall to me, so that kind of sucks. Let's take a look at our factions. I'm starting to think Alf Sol might fancy me. My daughter-in-law? It's not appropriate. Quit, quit that. Let's see, I have one son, I have another son, Communism, and Drolfer. And then there's Helen, and... Rolfer has a son named Alexander II, so hopefully either Communism or Alexander II will come to fruition as the leaders here. We have a weak claim that can be pressed on the Jarldom of Svigidbult. Seems that Jönmund of Delamark, the spymaster of King Hjalmar of Denmark, has been sent to Finn to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe you should be silenced before he finds out about my plot to kill King Hjalmar. That might be necessary, better not risk it. That might be necessary. I'm gonna have to be cautious here. Fortunately, my intrigue isn't exactly the highest. Let's see. I think I might send my spy master out to build a spy network. So where is our liege located? Oh, he's located in Finn. That's like right next to our territory. Well, let's build a spy network there. I can't believe that he took that from us. I think I gave it to someone. I thought maybe, or maybe not. I don't remember how it fell that he took Finn from us. But, needless to say, I'm, I'm not happy. Good news, my co-conspirator, Asta, has let me know that King Hjalmar will soon have a tra tragic fall off the castle parapets. Fly, little bird, fly! 
Uh, so this is the fun thing. You can't kill your own children. But you can kill other children, so... In a way, this this game does have a little something above... Above uh, Skyrim. <laughs> Success! King Hjalmar of Denmark flew off those walls like an ostrich. Unfortunately, the assassin was caught, and my complicity was discovered. Good, but bad. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm a known murderer. Hurts my general opinion, but you know what? It helped. Alright, so King Randever wants to appoint me as steward. I suppose I can do that. It's a horrible choice because I only have four stewardship, but let's me get closer to the king. Now, where is he located? He's he located around here? No, he's located up here in Upland. Message. Request council support from Trevig. Well, let's see. What faction is he part of? Arnie for Svidjabold or Independence? That's me. Oh, I only have 13%. I might as well leave this faction. Unless other people are actually willing to join it. Uh, let's see. I can spy on him. Hmm. <laughs> Let's take a look at the council. See where he stands there. Council, liege council. So Trivig is malcontent. You know what? Sure. Let's continue to be malcontent. So I can raise a tribal army. Not looking to do that, though. Because, uh, yeah, this... War is going to be pretty much a waste. Now let's take a look at our marshal. He's organizing the army. What we want him to do is train troops, though. All right, so the chiefdom of Svebold goes to Arnie of Narek. I guess that's... I guess the next one in line. Let's see, our liege. How is he on his vassals? Quite a few don't like him. He has one, two, three, four vassals that like him, and many more that don't. Maybe five with this person. But he has a lot of potential army troops that he can bring forth, which sucks, because he's using the location that we had. Um, I wonder if I make a claim on Finn, can I potentially gain control of this area if uh, he dies? Maybe? Let's see. Oh, I don't have many people in this faction. Arnie for Denmark, Arnie for Svibold. I'm hoping that eventually I can run through most of these guys. Wipe out most of this house of F. Munso. Well, let's see. If I was to plot against him, I have a lot of plot power. Sure, let's do it. So let's see, we've got Odor here. Bring him on, Rafin, bring him on. Trivig will definitely do it, and he provides a hell of a lot of plot power. And now we're at like 286. <laughs> My co-conspirator. Tregve has bribed a hunter taking King Randver on a trip into the wilds to quietly dispatch the child and make it look like an accident. How sad. <laughs> I 
Rocker here is uh, definitely going about taking all of these people out. And I'm guessing that he is no more. Success! The hunter did what he was paid and made sure King Randver never returned from the hunting trip. He will keep quiet about his ghastly deed to save his own skin, if nothing else. Well, who's our king now? Arnie is? And it looks like the next heir is not a dynastic heir. We we'll go to Treve. Who is he? <laughs> well, I suppose we can just keep going. Oh, our plot power isn't quite enough now. So we might as well not do it yet. Oh, look at his stats. Trigve has 19 martial and 22 intrigue. He is a beast of a man. All right, uh, let's see. For the kingdom of Svebold. Oh, I can't nominate anyone? Oh, because I guess there's no heirs to that whole setup. Well, that kind of sucks. Hmm. <laughs> Well, now I'm at the point where I admit I'm a little unsure because some of the land that we want is controlled by our king. I mean, we can make a claim on it, but I don't know if it will necessarily do anything. We don't have enough troops of our own to do anything. Some of our guys have some troops that they can aid. During a particularly heated argument in the council, Dorfbjorn stepped in as you were about to make a fool out of yourself. He was able to argue for your point, not only saving your face, but also winning the argument for you. It is obvious his smooth talking was the sole reason for your success, and denying that fact would likely paint you in a bad light. Thank you, I truly do owe you in return. We owe him a favor, but eh, it should be alright. Alright, who just died? My courtier. Of the great pox. Oh well. So this guy is the regent right now. I don't think there's really too much that we can do. Other than perhaps... Uh oh. A dull pain begins to throb behind your eyes. It's probably cancer. Totil is confident your symptom is not due to a serious illness and that it will pass quite soon. Nevertheless, you will receive some mild treatment. He's 21 learning, so he should be good. To relieve your headache, Total ordered you to lay down and rest for the afternoon. I am glad I hired Total. Alright, I can't declare war on him because I don't have a valid Cassus Belli. Hmm. You know what, let's change it to focus on that. Although I can't really expand my domain size right now. Let's see, so I have the flu. Hopefully it won't be too horrible. Your court physician has come to see you and offers treatments. He explains there are several types. Let's see, my life is in your hands. He's doing an experimental treatment. He approaches you with a small knife. He held your arm steady and made a precise incision, barely breaking your skin. He then proceeded to press something against the wound. It looked like a diseased tissue, and you shuddered. But I feel amazing! So, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> giving me diseased tissue works. Okay. The 
The kidnappers overpowered me and made sure I could not call for help by stuffing a filthy rag into my mouth. Luckily, they did not get far with me. Colbjorn and the guards managed to free me and capture them. My marshal, okay. Make sure they are severely punished. Yay! So apparently someone's planning various things against me. That's not exactly good. It's probably, uh... That Cherverg guy is probably going after me now. How's our heir looking? He has a lot of intrigue, but that's about it. But at least he has a son. Oh, and I haven't actually set a thing for him? I can't believe I did that. Alright, he needs to do struggle. For Alexander II. How's communism looking? He's doing pride. He's brooding. I think that'll be useful for our military. Yeah, we're kind of stuck right now. Because there's really not much that we can do one way or another. I mean, I have claims that I can make against my king, but he has way too many troops for us. Unless I did use the prestige to bring a tribal army. How's his vassal's thoughts on him? Uh, I mean, do we do it? Do we just go all out in a war to try and claim this kingdom for ourselves? Because he doesn't have the prestige to bring on a tribal army. He does have some money, though, to potentially bring mercenaries. Unless we brought mercenaries. Hmm. You know what? I think... Well, let's send some forces down to help Saturday. Because I could eventually have Saxony come and aid us. And they have enough forces that they'd actually be pretty useful in the fight. But not if they're lost to uh, France here, so let's go help them out. And I probably need to uh, recruit some commanders here. Oh, I was defeated? What the hell? Well, hopefully that army goes in and takes them out then. Alright, let's promote some commanders. Faced. He's unyielding. I think he'll be a good commander. Oh, we lost our other commander. He, I guess he was killed on the battlefield. I, was that my previous commander? I don't know. Well, it looks like Saxony is pretty much almost done here. And they're about to lose the war. And there they go. Well, so much for Saxony. <laughs> All right. Uh, Oh no. Don't tell me my son's going to die now. <laughs> oh crap, I'm infirm. That's not good. Mm. 
That's not good at all. Yeah, when you're infirm, you're pretty much approaching death. It's not a good thing. All right. Um, call in a favor on Roker. What favor am I doing? Is it on the council? Is that what it is? Looks like it. Young Freya has finished his education in the ways of war. Oh, Freya Wine. That's not even really someone in my... Oh, this is someone that I can ransom off? Okay. I can't turn them into someone. No, no. Well, let's ransom them off for 70 gold. That's at least pretty decent. Fudge, 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 fudge. Well, let's see. I can send an ultimatum pretty much demanding independence. Should I do it? Because my faction's not going anywhere. Let's try it. We're only gonna get one shot at this. Our guy's almost dead. Then war it is. So we'll call in our allies, or our one ally. We don't have these guys under us anymore? Oh, hell. We're gonna lose this. Also, I realize we still don't have uh, fleets yet. I thought we did, but apparently we don't. Let's do intrigue. Let's raise a tribal army. Then we'll have this little force all together. We can take Finn. And now King Arnie has called in a thousand different people. So this war is not going to last very long. I can try and hire mercenaries. Oh, let's see. 240 gold for that. That's very costly, though. Is there a cheaper force that I can hire? 150 for 1,500. Let's try it. And I have an open council position for an advisor. Well, Toke seems to like us. Though apparently he... Well, we have multiple Tokes here, but... Uh, <laughs> total? Ah, no one wants to take it, I guess. Okay, whatever. Look at that. They got like 6,000 people that are all coming for us. And I died. <laughs> you have a new heir if your character dies. Now you will play as Alexander the Seconds. And I died of the flu. And it looks like in all of that... And all of that, well, our lands kind of split up. 
So the land that I have technically under my control, um, let's just have everyone stand down for the moment. So I have that. I have only one place directly under my control. Only one chieftain. How the hell does that work? <laughs> That's not good. And I'm at negative prestige as well. Oh, this is a mess. Well, hmm. I suppose we should pick an ambition. Let's go with intrigue for our focus and for our ambition. I guess become a counselor. Form an alliance. My brother-in-law, the chief of Vestum, whatever. I don't know how he's our brother-in-law when this Gaida isn't anyone for us. But father-in-law, mother-in-law. Oh, okay. So that's like, okay. I see how it goes. Sure, why not? You kind of suck for everything. Ah, yeah, we're in a bad position right now for our goals of trying to, I guess, <laughs> get things figured out here. Because directly under our control, we have 735. Why do you keep appointing me as steward? I am not a good steward. No one in my bloodline is a good steward. <laughs> oh well, at least we're on the council. Um, let's focus on grooming an heir, I suppose. And then we'll go from there. I still want to know how communism ended up gaining all of that. Sure. Hey, we have another son. All right, so we'll name this one Communism the Second. Even though we've actually had a communism already born, we'll have a Communism the Second. Since we're probably going to go to war with communism to sort of gain control over our territory around here. Oh no! My wife is dying. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna plan... Well, if I plan this plot, things could eventually go bad for me. So let's at least wait till we have a decent heir. Then we'll do that plot. Kingdom, let's see, the Kingdom of Denmark. We pretty much have all the territory for the Kingdom of Denmark, it's just kind of... Alright, so Blackenge is part of us. He's not part of us, though. So let's kind of focus on doing a claim on him. Then.
Let's see, what factions exist right now? Well, there's a couple people that have joined this. Let's join the faction, add a little bit of support to it. Let's see, members seek complete independence. When sufficiently powerful, Gudmunder may present an ultimatum. The leader of the independence faction is likelier to take greater risks than other faction leaders and will have fewer qualms about striking when the liege is already under attack. Interesting. So pretty much we're hoping to attack when our liege is vulnerable. Which isn't right now. Um, since everything kind of sucks, I guess we're our only option is build up our hill fort and go from there. We'll just have to uh, bide our time. So, well, I guess this is going to be it for the episode today. Um, at the very least, we were able to show off the mechanic for uh, doing plots and assassinations and all that. We still have a lot of work to do before we're able to eventually pretty much get to the point of being able to do something good here. Let's see. Plot. Revoke the chiefdom of Yiland. Oh, I can revoke stuff. That could work then. Well, let's try that then. Can I invite anyone? No, but I don't really need to invite anyone, I guess. I guess I'll just do this to sort of set up the path to revoke it then. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've gone over some of the intrigue stuff. Depending on how quickly this goes, we might be able to complete it here, but it may take a while. But at least we've shown off how to do plots to take out um, like potential enemies. Generally, it's easier to do a plot on someone who's within your own kingdom. Um, like the closer they are, generally there's more people who are more up to joining that plot. On the previous king, we were able to get quite a few people to join our plot to kill him. On this one, the plot power is growing, but it's still not quite there yet, so we still have a lot of work to do. I think if you get a decent enough character who's good enough with Intrigue, that you can eventually use them almost single-handedly to take out someone, uh, depending on their presence in the kingdom and that sort of thing. But, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully things didn't go too horribly. <laughs> um, we'll see how the rest of this playthrough goes, though. As always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. If you have any comments on what I could be doing better, even though I know this is supposed to be a tutorial series, I am always open to any advice you can give me. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to respond to them as best I can. Alright folks, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode.